Hi, I'm Dave Graveline with Into Tomorrow at the HD Radio exhibit here at CES 2010. And with me, delighted as always to chat with the president and CEO of iBiquity. It's Bob Struwell. Hey, Bob, how are you? I'm great, Dave. How are you? Good to be doing, with you. Doing fine. This is always a spectacularly exciting booth. HD Radio continuing to just blow people away with the innovations, the apps, the cars. There's so many cool announcements here from CES. Let's start. It's, uh, it's difficult to figure out where to start. It's been such a great 2009, and we uh, forecast that continuing into 2010, but why don't we start with car? Uh, OEM Auto, I think just at this show, we had several announcements. Ford, uh, of course, announcing the availability of their cars with HD radio, including iTunes tagging, Audi making an announcement on uh, standard vehicles, Volkswagen announcing for the first time their inclusion of HD radio uh, technology into cars. So total, Dave, and it's uh, on the chart behind us, you've got 15 different automakers who have launched HD radio technology across 80 different vehicle lines, and of those, 36 are standard equipment. So this is the Ford SHO, and we've got HD radio front and center in the device. Uh, if I go to my little radio screen, uh, what I'm seeing here is an HD radio station. If I want to toggle up and down, this station's got uh, HD3. Uh, this station's got HD1, their main channel. I just hit that little multicast toggle. Uh, listening to Green Day now. Uh, we can preset. Uh, you see here uh, on this side of the radio, I preset uh, a bunch of stations, including HD2s and HD3s. There's the HD. They're playing what they want, when they want. Uh, and we can toggle back and forth between those uh, uh, those multicast channels. If you were at the keynote, uh, Ford CEO Alan Mullally mentioned HD radio in his speech, got a little bit of applause, which uh, which we were excited about. But um, walking through the booth, of course, all of the major OEMs are coming and seeing the cars we've got here. We've got a Ford, we've got a, uh, a Green Golf, we've got a Toyota Scion, uh, all with great HD radio technology displayed in, in really compelling fashion. And of course, one of the things that Alan talked about was the iTunes tagging as all part of the HD radio. Now, this is something that's getting a lot of appropriate attention now. People are saying, I love this tune. I want to make sure and get it on my personal MP3 player, and it is that easy to get. Yeah, it's a it's a feature we launched a few years ago with Apple. It has really gotten uh, a tremendous amount of support. You're seeing it for the first time in OEM Auto with Ford. Uh, but there's a lot of other devices out there. We'll take a look at some, I'm sure. Portable devices with iTunes tagging, home devices, iPod docks. Uh, it's a feature that has really resonated with consumers uh, and is gaining gaining uh, great acceptance. This is the uh, GigaWare HD radio iPhone, iPod Touch, tagging accessory. You get this little device, and it's an HD radio tuner. So you get this little guy at Radio Shack, plug it into my iTouch. I've got an HD radio app that I've downloaded from the iPhone App Store, that's free. Uh, and guess what happens? My iTouch becomes a radio. This is a radio and the tuning takes place like you would expect it would on the dial. I've got a tag feature, I like this. I want to, uh, uh, I want to tag it, maybe purchase it later. It tells me tagging's going on. Uh, if I like this station, I can set it as uh, a favorite. So I go to favorites and I've got uh, my HD2 stored in. Throughout the course of 2009, uh, we saw continued growth in multicast channels. There's now more than 1,100 around the country. Um, and probably more importantly, the cool content that is going on in those channels is really driving consumers to uh, to embrace the technology. We've got uh, great national formats like ESPN Radio, HD, uh, Pride Radio, which is targeted to the gay and lesbian community. Uh, E-Rockster, which is a nice alternative rock uh, format. You've got cool local content. If you go up to Boston, you're going to see the Gaelic Channel for the Irish community up there. In D.C., where I listen, we've got Bluegrass 24 by 7. We've got three channels of C-SPAN. If you go down to Miami, you'll see dance music. So uh, this is what local radio is about. It's about tailoring uh, content to the needs and the interests of the local community. One of the uh, highlights of 2009 was CBS's announcement of programming Last FM, their internet streaming channel, that's being programmed on HD2s. So listeners are taking part in the programming of those stations in various markets across the country. You'll see innovation like that continue in 2010. And of course the popularity now between tabletops and portables. Uh, we were of course just looking at one portable not too long ago and now there's a great variety of various devices that include HD radio right. for take along with you. This was the first portable uh, radio that was introduced, Best Buy's insignia brand. Uh, this is the uh, Best Buy armband radio. It's a little FM HD radio tuner. Uh, you, get, you get a great shot of the screen, beautiful uh, beautiful screen capability. Uh, HD2, HD1, tuning up and down, uh, and everything I like. Little armband uh, accessory to put around your arm when you're jogging around town or working out in the gym, walking through the park. Uh, it's been a very good seller at Best Buy. The big announcement was the Microsoft Zune HD. A lot of great things on it, music, videos, 
uh, pictures, internet access, but the one that we like the most is radio. This is a fully functional HD radio receiver. Touch, uh, uh, touch tuning up and down the dial. There's my song artist and title information. If I like this song and I want to tag it, I can press my little cart button. It's been added to my cart. Next time I go to the Microsoft store, uh, I can purchase that song. What are we looking at just slightly into tomorrow, if you will? What's got you pumped about HD in 2010? You know this, Dave, we continue to innovate uh, and add new features, and there's HD Radio 2.0 and 3.0 and 4.0. The ones we've got on display this year are a couple really exciting things. One is um, album art. This is the ability for an HD radio station to broadcast pictures, essentially, uh, and render them on the radio screen. What we see here is uh, KPIC FM broadcasting uh, the album cover, which goes along with uh, the song playing. Uh, that obviously could be album covers. That's a great uh, application, uh, but it could be other things. It could be sports scores. It could be weather maps. Uh, it could be broadcast or advertising information uh, supporting the ad that's playing on the radio. We've got also uh, the first renderings of the electronic program guide, uh, working in cooperation with broadcasters. What we see is the ability uh, in a given market to press that little guy and see all of the different programs, all the different stations that are on in the market, uh, and then tune to each one of those, uh, telling me what's playing uh, on the radio. Very much like a, a cable guide that you would see on a cable TV. Traffic services, a big news story. This is the Seidel. This is the first implementation uh, in an aftermarket radio uh, personal navigation device of HD radio with traffic. So this device not only gets you uh, the great HD radio content out there, uh, you also get a chance to see where the traffic issues are. I can go back and see what, what has gone on through the course of the day. And this gives me a, a sense of where all the traffic issues have been through the course of the day. These are events which are broadcast by the HD radio station and stored in the, uh, in the receiver plotted on the navigation screen. Also coming with this is the Clear Channel Total Traffic uh, News Service. Not only do I get traffic, uh, but I also can get things like local headlines, national headlines, uh, weather, telling me what's going on with that, uh, nationwide weather if I'm interested in what's going on in Boise or, uh, uh, or Boston. Uh, and then, you know, things like tourist information. Certainly not a lack of excitement and news and information about HD radio. And if you're not already there, what website might we learn more about HD radio? You can go to hdradio.com. It's pretty easy. You go to ubiquity.com as well and, and uh, find more of the technical information. But hdradio.com is probably the right place to go. Bob Struble, always a pleasure to catch up with Bob at CES and everywhere else where we run into him for that matter. HD radio continuing to bring you further into tomorrow. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Dave.